Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So, I want to talk about fans. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a fan of a sport or fan of a boxer, but some people take it too far. They take it so far that they actually have no logical reason for what they're saying. And when you go into fandom, where you're just a fan of a boxer, and you make this boxer a god to you, then you veer away from real life, and that's where we have a problem. And I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. When I was looking, I was talking to somebody about, you know, we were in a discussion about uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Because I was watching a fight with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Floyd Mayweather Sr. And um, even though that fight was kind of called prematurely to its end, this is what I noticed at least. Um, some people might have noticed something different. Um, uh, a lot of people believe that. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard actually, because he beat Senior, he would have easy work with Junior. So um, I was in that discussion, and then I realized, wait a minute, people are saying that Floyd Mayweather Junior would get murdered by Sugar Ray Leonard. So I was like, murdered? I don't know about that one. You know, that actually would be an intriguing fight to watch, because both guys could do. A lot of things. Um, there are things Floyd Mayweather Jr. can do that Sugar Ray Leonard doesn't do, and there are things that Sugar Ray Leonard could do that Floyd Mayweather does not do. So it would be, I, I thought it would be an intriguing matchup if that would ever were to happen. That's actually a very interesting thing. People said, well, Sugar Ray Leonard had the killer instinct and uh, he you know, knock out his fighters. All I'm saying to people is that in your fanaticism which is not a problem in your fanaticism in boxing don't get so fanatical that you you say some really uh, extreme statements that actually are not true uh, we don't know what would happen if Floyd Mayweather Jr. fought Sugar Ray Leonard and we know in boxing until the two actually fight then you can't really say and the truth of the matter is Sugar Ray Leonard uh, probably will never fight Floyd Mayweather Jr., okay? He did fight Sr., no doubt, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. did learn from Sr., but he also learned from Leonard and others. So my point being, we can't be such uh, fans and in such fandom that we don't realize the brilliance of one boxer and another. Now, if Sugar Ray Leonard was well-liked in his time, and Floyd Mayweather is more hated in his time, but we have to look at the actual boxing skills. We have to look at the actual boxing skills of the boat fighters to be able to say, well, this would actually be an intriguing matchup or this guy, he looks like he has the advantages and the other guy, he doesn't look like he has the advantages. All right. So what I'm saying to people who are fans of boxing, if you're fans of a certain fighter, that's cool too. I'm saying look at the level of opposition. I'm saying look at the skill sets in the fighters. Yes, a lot of times people look at the entertainment value. You know, I think of Roy Jones Jr. When I think of Sugar Ray Leonard, I think Roy Jones Jr. was a, a fighter like Sugar Ray Leonard. Very entertaining, a very interesting fighter, okay? And had good power, good speed. You know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather Jr. is not as entertaining he doesn't do all those antics and stuff but he has great power and he has good speed okay he doesn't knock out as many people well actually Sugar Ray Leonard has about the same knockout career knockout ratio as Floyd Mayweather Jr. has currently isn't that amazing you know but what was made uh, what makes uh, Sugar Ray Leonard so interesting is his antics and the way how he emphatically attack an opponent all right, and if you look at Ray Leonard, he had a nice jab, but there's other things he didn't do as well as Floyd does. Like Floyd had a wonderful jab to the pit. Uh, Floyd also has some beautiful left hooks to the body. Okay, so Leonard, you know, he's a great fighter. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is also a great fighter. I would love to see both fight. But we can't be so extreme as to say, oh, Floyd never stands a chance against Leonard, because that wouldn't be true. All right? Just as how we can't say that uh, Leonard would get uh, obliterated by Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's not true either. You know? You, but what I'm saying is, in fandom, 
sometimes we can become so much a fan of someone that we try to diminish the other fighter like Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather that's coming up we can't diminish Manny Pacquiao's skills and say oh because Floyd is the pound for pound best oh Floyd will just run through Manny Pacquiao we don't know until we see those two fight and obviously Manny Pacquiao is much more than he appears to be by some fans and fans of Floyd Mayweather so you have to keep it balanced otherwise you'll end up in this you'll go down this road and you'll move further and further away from reality. I even heard a fan tell me the very same things that really are going on with them, you know. And um, it's just amazing how people can be so inaccurate. And I just try to get people to realize, look, you have to be more accurate about what you're saying. You have to be more, um, you have to try and keep the balance. Because a lot of people think they're keeping balance, but they're really just, just defending their own fighter, you know. And that's ridiculous. Sugar Ray Leonard is, is and will always be one of the greatest fighters ever. And he was the greatest fighter of his era. He was fantastic to watch. I watched him as a child. I was amazed and impressed at how sharp he was and his instinct, great killer instinct, and even his antics were fantastic as well. So um, he was the ultimate showman. You know what I'm saying? He was the ultimate showman in there. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., uh, I, I was able to see him again later on in my life. And I looked at, the again, the savage, aggressive nature he had, the crispness of his punches, and I knew he was something special. Uh, just as how Leonard was something special, I knew Floyd Mayweather Jr. was something special. And you can see the same spirit in both of them. Here's Leonard really just going off on somebody. This is Floyd, the same kind of attacking really tremendous uh, intensity these guys have. Manny Pacquiao is another one of them. You know, Guillermo Rigondeaux is another one of them. Roy Jones Jr. in his height was another one of them. James Tony was another one of them. Very crisp, sharp punches. And, and that's, what, that's what made these guys great. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, so guys, let's try to veer away so much from this more to this and let's be able to learn something from each other.